Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So we've got an unbagging to do today and I've got some great new products and these have come to me from the wonderful people at DIYChoose.com. Uh, they asked me if I would like some new products to show and I said yes of course, thank you. Uh, I've shown quite a few before and I've loved them. Uh, so a huge thank you DIY Choose. and yeah let's get into this and have a look and see what we got. Um, on the website this morning when I went on, there is a flash sale, 21% off. Now, obviously, if you're watching this at a later date, I can't guarantee that that's still on, but yeah, 21% off. Wow, that's brilliant. Uh, and then there's some sort of offer is uh, there was a free shipping on over $39. Yeah, go and check out those special offers. But yeah, this banner just popped up, so wow great special offers okay so we have a diamond painting oops oh i think you could sort of see it oh it's got a little bit squished never mind uh, it's poured glue so it will uh, straighten itself out a little bit when we get it under something heavy and we've got oh, another diamond painting again it's just a little bit squished but that's okay we can sort that out and then a couple of little bits and pieces okay so wow now then these i've been looking at them for a while and i do sort of use my tweezers and then they had these on um at one pound 88 pence for three sets of your elbow tweezers and i thought oh well i've just got to get those and they're just such pretty colors and uh, yeah they'll go on my little rack with all my other bits and pieces and um, i've been collecting sort of like different colored pens look and uh, squishies and I've got them all in my little case so yeah and I've got my tweezers at the other side I've got the straight ones uh, so I decided I would get the curve uh, you can get the straight ones from DIY chose as well so yeah as you can see I'm colour coordinating doesn't that look pretty I don't want to use them though because oh and I've uh, lost a, a squishy off there I'll have to put a squishy back on <laughs> So yeah, that just sits on my desk as a bit of colour, a bit of decoration. And of course, it's got hot pink, what can I say? But yeah, I just thought for uh, £1.88, what does that work that out? About 63-ish pence each. So yeah, brilliant value. And they've got a nice little curved cover on them as well. So they're not really sharp. They're quite a blunt tip. I mean, but I just think sometimes having a, a curved tweezer is just a little bit easier than just sort of having your straight ones and stabbing down and picking things up. I mean, you can use them both ways, but yeah, they're picking up really well. Really good like that as well. I do use them, well, I've used them quite a bit in card making. Um, I didn't cotton on to curved tweezers for quite a while. And then when I, when I, once I got a pair, I just thought, oh, well, I don't use tweezers for putting diamonds down, but I do quite often use them for taking diamonds <laughs> And if you're anything like me, then you've put your diamonds on the wrong squares and then had to take them all off. And sometimes it's easier just to sort of scoop up. Look, they've got quite a broadish, uh, broadish base there just to pick something up. So just put the little lid. I can never see the lids when I put them down. Just to pick something up. It's quite a, a good surface area for picking up there rather than just using the little tips. But again, you've got the best of both worlds because you have got your little tips as well. So, And they're really nice and light, these. Um, they are metal. They're not bendable, look. And quite a bit, I think you can see there, look on my fingers, quite a bit of pressure. So they're quite a nice quality. Uh, they're not real bendy or anything. And I just love the colour. I just think the uh, different pretty colours, they will go into my stand. So we've got your pale pink, your like lavender colour, and then your aqua blue green colour. Very, very nice. So you can't go wrong for the price, but yeah, really good, strong ones. Uh, yeah, because sometimes the ones that you get in the kits uh, can be just a little bit bendy. And if you are wanting to maybe... Uh, put some pressure on something i mean I, when i'm uh, heat embossing or anything like that i do like a good pair of tweezers to hold something and there's quite a nice length to these as well so you know you can get your fingers quite far away if you are using say a heat gun or something um so you're not going to uh, 
get caught out as it were uh, again just with it using a heat gun i would maybe put one of your squishies just over the end one of your pen grips um just so that you don't get this part hot as well uh, but these are things that you uh, learn as you go along <laughs> learn from my mistakes <laughs> so yeah brilliant little set there wonderful okay and again if you know a crafter and you're wanting to say just put a little toolkit together for somebody or uh, you've got a younger person that's wanting to start crafting uh, maybe just get them some of the straight tweezers some of the curved ones a diamond painting pen or something uh, and just make up a little package for them just some little craft tools and uh, yeah i don't like the fact that they're very very pretty and then talking of pretty i've just got one of these wonderful spirally pens and yeah, I've been looking at this one for a while as well and thinking, oh, do I need another pen? And it's like, no, not really. But do I want another pen? Oh, well, yes, of course. <laughs> so let's see how this one does this twist off. Oh. <laughs> what did I just say about learn from my mistakes? Uh, yeah lid just pulls off it doesn't screw off uh, so yeah um, I just managed to unscrew the cap and take the uh, diamond painting tip off with it as well and all the beads spilled out <laughs> so I've just rescued all the beads and put them back in it does only go down to there it's not uh, a full one it just has a plain sort of a crystal there but as you can see it's a spiral there it's like a, a acrylic spiral that just goes to like a little bit fatter tip at the end there so if you want something to hold on to that's a little bit more of a grip then you've got that and then you've just got your single place a black brass tip in the top so yeah as i say learn from my lessons do as i <laughs> don't do the same as me and take it out and just spill everything everywhere <laughs> Oh dear, back to uh, disaster zonelys again, aren't we? But yeah, it's very, very pretty. It's exceptionally light to hold as well. It's lovely. And this was just £1.17. and seventeen pence. So yeah, oh, and the end look goes on the end there. So that's good. So it's uh, not going to roll either. So yeah, it just uh, helps it to stop rolling quite so much because it's not a, a full round. It is uh, like a spiral. So very, very pretty. But yeah. Uh, yeah, you can keep your end on the end, on uh, the other end, but I do like um, pens that actually come with a cover because I do think sometimes that uh, you can get a little bit of fluff or uh, your wax can dry out a little bit in the end of your tip there if you leave them sort of overnight uh, exposed to the elements, as it were. So, yeah, I like ones with covers. But, uh, yep, so that's our pretty diamond painting pen, all uh, in pretty pink to go with our tweezers. Just leave those there so you can just see them slightly. Right, so let's have a look at this one. This is a special drill diamond painting. And I was quite intrigued to see this, really, because I wasn't sure whether it was, like, a canvas or stickers or what it was. Uh, so let's get this open if I can find the opening. Seeing as this video is going so well, I'll probably take about three hours to find where the opening to the diamond painting is. <laughs> and it's the other end. Yay! <laughs> Are we counting mistakes? Please don't. <laughs> oh dear. And then, as I say, it has got a little bit squished and a little bit creased, but that is okay. We have a little 30 by 30 painting. Oh, we have got lots of creases in it. <gasps> We're all special drills and shapes. Lovely, all the crystals. We've got a pen, butt and wax. Our little standard kit there. And this one is, oh, look. <laughs> a little set of four Highland Goos. Which are one of my favourites. I don't think they're so sweet um i was watching somebody on youtube the other day and they were saying that cows really are just really quite like big dogs they're very uh, nosy and like to know what's going on so if you're in a field or whatever they quite like to come over and see what you're up to uh, and plus as well they do like a good scratch behind their ears obviously i can't you know i don't i don't advocate going up strange cows and scratching behind their ears but it's uh, yeah 
so they are quite lovable creatures. <laughs> So, to be honest, as I say, I wasn't sure how this sort of worked out. I knew it was like a canvas of 30 by 30, but uh, looking at them on the website, I wasn't sure whether it was like um, more or less sort of stickers or what they were. But obviously, this is just a little set of uh, a picture with the four little Highland coos on, uh, all with different expressions and sitting in different ways, sitting and standing in different ways. I'll just try and flatten it out a little bit it's going to need a little bit of time under some heavy books or a big pile of diamond paintings and yeah so we have seven different gems and colours uh, and what I was thinking more than anything is that I can probably cut these out um, once I've diamond painted it and sealed it because uh, I would seal them if I'm going to cut them out then other than sort of an odd stray hair like on that one there which I would probably just cut off they would cut out quite, quite nicely and I would maybe use them uh, put them mount them onto cardboard or mount board um, or put them onto fridge magnets or something like that rather than keeping them as a picture um, I do always try and think of other things to do with my diamond paintings uh, rather than just pop, popping everything on the wall because yeah, I've only got a certain size house and uh, with the best one in the world, unless I start using next door either side, I'm going to run out of wall space. <laughs> so we have a two little uh, Highland cows stood up. This one's looking a little bit pensive, a little bit worried. This one looks a little bit sad. He needs a good scratch behind his ears, doesn't he? He's looking that a little bit sad. And then we've got two sat down. So we've got this one. Well, actually, they all look a little bit sad. Oh, don't be sad, little moo cows. You're out of your packet now and you're getting flattened out, so you're going to be okay. But yeah, look at the little feet and the little horns. And they're all little baby ones, that, that you can tell by their expressions. But I just thought, oh, that's something quite different and uh, quite pretty. But yeah, these will definitely be uh, cut out once they are done and turned into something different quite fancy having uh, four little highland cows on my fridge <laughs> okay uh, i will give the canvas a quick measure it's 30 by 30 so i think we'll be about a 25 by 25 um on the website you see you can't really see this is like a gray background to this canvas if you can just see don't know whether the camera will pick it up. Yeah, you can. You can just see you've got like the grey, bluey grey tinge to the background as opposed to the white of the canvas. Uh, but it doesn't really show up on the website. So it does look like four little individual uh, stickers. Not pictures, but more sort of stickery type things. Um, so yeah, just set my uh, imagination running riot. So we're up 24 centimetres, just under nine and a half inches. And yeah, about 24 centimetres, nine and a half ish inches. So let's just give the little coos a measure. So they're about, where are we to? About there, about 11 centimetres, which is four and a quarter uh, inches. And again, so they're about an 11 centimetre square size. So yeah, they'd be quite nice. Um, I mean, you could even put them on the back of your laptop. A bit big for a mobile phone, unless you've got one of those really expensive big mobile phones that are more like carrying a, like a mini tablet around with you anyway. Uh, but yeah, or exercise books or folders or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm well impressed with those. So let's have a look at these gems. <gasps> look at all these colours. Okay, so we have, oh, start on the gems, start on the crystals, lovely bright amber orangey colour and a little bit uh, more of a bronzy orangey colour and then a deep bronze colour and then like a honey goldy colour. So that's your four different uh, shades that your little Highland coals are going to be in. So that's quite nice. Four different colours rather than just sort of one flat colour as it were. And then we've got some uh, marquees with an iridescent coating on in a medium size and a smaller size marquee. And then, oh, we've got these. These are like the silver backed 
um, gold gems and they're like an all gold with all the facets on the top and they look really, really pretty. So are they for the horns then, do we believe? Number seven, yes, so they're for the horns. Oh, right, so the horns are going to be like this lovely goldy colour there. That'll be pretty. Okay, very, very nice. So I like that one. Uh, yeah, they're going to be really fun to do. And as I say, I will uh, be cutting them out and doing something else with them. Okay. Oh, look, we've got two crystals have escaped. They've escaped together and made a break for freedom. <laughs> and then got stuck on the sticky. <laughs> and then finally, we have a full drill diamond painting. And this one just called to me. I just think it's so pretty. Okay, have to make a bit of room because this one's a little bit bigger. Uh, the price of the uh, little Highland cows is four pound and nine pence, and then the price of this diamond painting is four pound and ninety six pence. Okay, so where is the end? Where's the end? There it is. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oops, <laughs> it's cracked the painting. Do you know, I shouldn't have started this video. I think it's one of those. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong. <laughs> or is it just a Liz unboxing? <laughs> Probably a bit of both. But look how pretty this is. It is just so summery and reminds you of a nice summery day. And um, yeah, I just thought this is going to look lovely. So it's got a little bit creased. It's had a hard time coming uh, across the waters, this one. But again, as I say, it is poured glue. Once you've got all those drills on, this completely straightens out so we don't have any problems. But it will be under something heavy until it gets its turn to be done. So let's just take the cover sheet off. And if you straighten the cover sheet out, it does tend to then start to allowing the canvas underneath. To just flatten a bit as well look how much difference that's made just by doing that oops okay look just the edges that are a little bit creased now but we can live with edges creased because we're not going to be doing anything with those okay so we have this beautiful like wild flower i think are these echinaceas they're like a hot pinky type flower and i'm not sure what these are these are like big daisies but i don't believe that these with this big centre in it are echinacea flowers. So I'm not uh, brilliant on flowers, but uh, odd ones I do sort of sometimes recognise. I'm not a brilliant gardener either. I tend to kill most things in my garden, which is why I like pictures of flowers. <laughs> so we've got lots of butterflies. Look, we've got one there. We've got a blue one there. We've got another one here. And then we've got lots of little like cabbage white butterflies down here. Uh, they're, they're in uh, trouble apparently in uh, the UK. Cabbage white butterflies, they're tending to uh, disappear. So we've got to be on the lookout for those to make sure that uh, we keep them. Otherwise we're going to lose them, which is very, very sad. Is that another butterfly there? It could be once we get this one done. So it's 20 different uh, gems Sorry, 20 different colours, this one. It is just your acrylic gems. And it is all nice capital letters. We've got DMC codes there as well, from 300 down to 5200 you white. And it looks like a very a clear drill field. I mean, there's not really any dark colours on this. I suppose that butterfly is probably about the darkest, but you can read those uh, letters on there. Well, you probably can, I can't without uh, my magnifier. But uh, yeah, it does look very clear. Oh, I don't think it's a W actually, looking at it. So yeah, very good. Very, very pretty. Ooh, and it's all bagged up itself as well. Look, oh, we like kits that come bagged up. Yay. Okay, let's just uh, have a look at these drills. You know, I think I've struggled opening every packet today. <laughs> but I didn't struggle opening the pen. I just opened it and everything went wee everywhere. <laughs> User error. Oh, dear. 
so number 20 is a nice bright b5 200 white we've got like a lemony limey green color we've got a dark gray color a beige color and sort of a wine color a nice pinky color there oh and a hot pink well it's more of a pinky purple but we're going to call hot pink on that one we've got to have a hot pink <laughs> And then that's a dark blue, I think. Or it could be dark green. Not quite sure. Oh, no, it's dark brown. It's dark brown, Liz. I tell you, my eyesight's appalling. And then we've got our blue slaty colour there. A nice grassy green. And a pale blue. That's pretty. There's a lot of that colour. So there's going to be lots of the blue. I guess that's going to be the background of the sky. Oh, and then a lovely purpley colour there. Look, a little hint of blue in it. A nice sunny orangey yellow and a sunny yellow and another green there it's got an escapee in it look one's decided to join in with the green party and a chocolatey brown oh, that's number one so we'll try and keep these in order oh and that's definitely a hot pink so yay we've got a hot pink and a nice um sort of skyish blue color a yellow a darkish grey and then your chocolatey brown again at the front and I've managed to keep them all in order now can I get them back into the packet in order but yeah I mean these are great because you don't even need a pair of scissors you literally if you get somebody a kit like this uh, you can just give them it they've got all the drills that they need they've got the pen uh, boat and wax so they can uh, just tip the drills in put the wax in the pen and off they go so they don't even need a pair of scissors so brilliant to get somebody started on diamond painting when they come all bagged like this and uh, yeah it's only 20 colours so it's not a really difficult one to do albeit there will be quite a few colour changes on it because there is uh, lots of different colours on it with it being flowers lots of shading and lots of highlights so it's a 50 by 30 painting so let's give it a quick measure now it's flattened out just that little bit okay so we are uh, about just over 44 centimeters which is 17 and a half ish inches and then we're yeah 25 centimeters nine and three quarter inches so yeah just that little bit different size as well this picture i do like ones that are a little bit longer and thinner because you've just got a little bit more places that you can put them above doors above windows if you've not got pelmets or whatever on your curtains um or maybe just that little space that you've got above a cupboard or something like that so it's just crying out for a bit of color but yeah i just really really thought this was pretty and enjoyed looking at this one and it is lovely and the color palette is really look at those colors once this one's done it's going to be very very pretty uh, i will have to get a custom frame for it though and um, my custom frames have arrived as well by the way for my other diamond paintings so i will be showing you those once i get those done okay well a huge thank you diy chose for sending me these don't forget to check out on that special offer because that money off is really really good if it's still on at the moment and um, i'll try and get this video up as soon as i can so hopefully it will be still on for you uh yeah but i've got some lovely products i love my little highland coves they are so cute so we've gone from pretty and uh, scenery to really really cute and then practical with our three tweezers which are pretty because they're lovely colors and then as i said the pen that i opened completely wrongly uh, and spilled all the uh, little beads out the middle but i did manage to get them all back in there so <laughs> nothing's lost um so yeah maybe just my pride <laughs> okay well if you've enjoyed this uh unbagging and uh, <laughs> my little error then uh, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below i will put the descriptions of these um into the description of the video if you click on the more button and then more again uh, it does bring up all the links and everything to everything that i've shown you and if you want to join our little family and see what mistakes i make next time then if you press that little subscribe button down in this corner over here and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything Yay!
Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.